Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will start question number 7, exercise 13b, chapter 13 of maths. Chapter number 13 of maths D3. So, what is question number 7? PQ is a chord of the circle with center O given that POQ is equal to 84 degree. Find the obtuse angle between PQ and the tangent at P. If you just have a look at the diagram that PQ is the chord and is making two angles with the tangent P. The first angle is this and the second angle is this. What is required? The measurement of the obtuse angle is required. So this is the required angle that we need to find out. So how can you find out? If we, the radius is uh, perpendicular to the tangent P. So if you find this angle, we can just simply add 90 degree to, uh, to it to find out the required angle. Again, in the triangle OPQ, OP and OQ are the radii of the circle. So this is the isosceles triangle. So this question is very simple. That angle OPQ is equal to angle OQ. P with the isosceles triangle 180 minus 84 divided by 2. So angle OPQ is equals to 48 degree. Obtuse angle between PQ and tangent at P is 90 plus 48 degree which is 138 degree question number eight let's draw the diagram that p is some external point and the distance from the p to the center of the circle is 10.5 6 centimeter and the radius of the circle is 5.6 centimeter and p n is the tangent to the circle so what we need to find out we need to find out the length of the tangent so we need to find out p n is equals to question mark with the property number three we know that o n is perpendicular to p n so with the pythagoras theorem we can find out the value of p n so p n square is equals to 10.6 to the whole square minus 5.6 square so p n square is equals to 81 taking square root on both side p n 9 centimeter okay now question number 9 question number 9 a point T is 9.1 meter away from the center of the circle the tangent from T to the point of tangency is 8.4 meter find the diameter of the uh, circle. Now let's draw for question number 9. Radius of the circle, distance from the tangent. Okay, and draw the circle. This is the tangent PS with the property number 3. We know that it is 90 degree. The distance is given to us 9.1 meter. And the, this is TS is also given to us which is 8.4 meter. Now find the diameter of the circle. If I say this is R which is the radius of the circle OS. So with the uh, help of the Pythagoras theorem we can find out the radius. And what is the diameter? The diameter is simply the twice of the uh, radius. So let's apply the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem OS square is equal to 9.1 to the whole square minus 8.1. 4 to the whole square. So OS square is equals to 12.25 and uh, taking square root on both sides 3.5 
meter and diameter so os is the radius which is 3.5 meters and how can we find out the diameter diameter is simply the twice of the radius so 2 times 3.5 is equals to 7 now question number 10 in the figure ab and ac are tangents to the circle at b and c respectively o is the center of the circle and angle aod is 122 degree find angle b a c and we know this angle which is 122 degree angle a angle a b o is 90 degree as well as angle a c o is 90 degree angle a o c we can find out by 180 degree minus 122 because c o d is a straight line so question number then we can find out that we know that angle C, uh, angle O C A is 90 degree and angle O B A is also 90 degree. Okay, now how can you find out the angle A O C because C O D is a straight uh, line so you can find out this angle by subtracting 122 from 180 degrees so angle a o c is equal to 180 degree minus 122 will give you the answer 58 degree angle a o c now how can you find out the angle c a o C A O. Just have a look at the triangle A C O and subtract the other angles 180 degree minus 90 degree minus 58 degree to find out the angle C A O which is 32 degree. And with the property number 4 if there is a external point A and the tangents the from uh, and there are two tangents from uh, the at ex external point on the circle for example this is the case which is AC and AB and if we join the external point to the center of the circle it will bisect the angle at the external point between the two tangent so this if we find out this 32 so this angle is also 32 so finally the angle BAC will be so finally the angle BAC will be twice of the 32 and angle BAC is equals to 64 question number 11 the tangents from the point A if I draw a circle with these radius from a point T touch a circle with center O at point A and B whereas angle A O T is 51 degree find the angle B A T this is the required angle and we know that this is 90 degree with the property number 3 okay find the angle B A T so angle B A T is question mark so how can you find out the angle O A B angle O A B because these are the radii of the circle so it is an isosceles uh, triangle uh, and we know that if this is 51 so this angle will also be 51 so we can find out that this angle uh, because being an isosceles triangle these angle will be same so apply the formula 180 
minus 51 minus 51 divided by 2 to find out the angle O A B and 180 minus 102 divided by 2 angle O A B is equals to 39 degree so if we have this angle which is uh, 39 degree this whole angle is 90 degree okay uh, with the property number 3 so subtract 39 from 90 degree to find out this angle so the required angle B A T is equals to so angle B A T is equals to 90 minus 39 is equals to 51 degree of this exercise which is question number 12 two concentric circles have radii 12 centimeter and 25.5 centimeter respectively a tangent to the inner circle cuts the outer circle at the points h and k find the length of h and k let's draw for question number 12 two circles if the inner circle is 12 centimeter the outer circle is now a tangent to the inner circle cuts the outer circle at the points h and q the inner circle cuts the outer circle at point h and q if i say this is the point p which is the point of tangency just connect with the center and if I draw this, so this will be the radius of the inner circle and this is represent uh, the radius of the outer circle. Okay, now what is required? The length is if required. If you just have a look at this question, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem because 25.5 we know this and what is it is the radius of the inner circle. So 12, 25.5 centimeters. So, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem to 0 PQ, we can find out the length PQ. Okay. And the length of the tangent will be the twice of this PQ. So, let's apply the Pythagoras theorem to find it is not Q, it is K. To find out PK square is equals to 25.5 square minus 12 to the whole square which will give you pk square is equals to 506.25 taking square root on both side pk is equals to 22.5 centimeter whereas the required h K will be twice of the PK 2 into 22.5 and the final answer is 45 centimeter. So this is all from the exercise 13b. I hope you like the video.